That's absolutely insane. What's going on guys, it's Carl and TNS Media here coming back at you with another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today we're finally building the Mark IV Super for drifting. This video is actually edited down from a live stream, so if you guys are interested in that, you can check out my Twitch and all my other socials down below. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks guys. Ooh, this thing feels fun already. I wish this would open so I don't have to drive through it. Oh yeah, baby. That's more like it. Feels heavy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, compared to S chassis, though, so I'm spoiled with those the S14 and the S15 and the Z2. All pretty light cars at this point. It feels good, though. I think I might be able to get some good slides going here. This car. I really like this car. I might want second a little bit longer. You but I don't know. your destination. This thing seriously feels like driving a bus sometimes. It's very, very big. so much better. Almost linked it. And I almost want a little more power. Getting greedy. Turn around. Turn the boost up a little when bit, maybe. Safe to do so. Get her spooling. Drifting well, it's always my eyes. It's the, always the thing that I catch. Like, I'm looking too close to my car. I need to look up the track more. Right there. See see what the car's doing? It's understeering. And the front tires aren't doing any work. That's why I feel like I need to, like, have my anti-roll bar in the back stiffer or something so the back gives out before the fronts do. Yeah. I think Turn it's around. Better. I mean, you want to, like, you want when you're the, the car's swinging around, you want to be able to kind of move the wheel and have it immediately move the nose back to whatever direction you're trying to go. Um, and I definitely had some slop. And I think that was just because of the front end uh, reaching its limit before the back. Yeah, it walks out easier in second now, too. Yeah, baby. That's it. It's still happening a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to soften the fronts. Steering, you feel more now. That's interesting. Still doing it! Safe to do so. It's one of my favorite things about my S14 is I can do that, stand on the brake, and the back end will come around for me. I'll get this car to do it. You mark my words. <sighs> Man. See, those fronts are still scrubbing. That's a pain. I think that might be toe time. I didn't want to mess with toe, but I'll mess with toe if I have to mess with toe. I think it's doing better. Just driving poorly. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah! So see how you, you guys see how I moved my wheel? The clutch kicked and the nose actually went towards where my hands were instead of just like still skating off the side of the road. That's what I've been chasing. 
So that was Toe Out that did that. Turn around, Probably also a combination of the stiffness so. settings. But I think I'm starting to really settle into this. This might be becoming one of my more favorite drift cars, honestly. Alright, let's get it. Let's do some Fortune Island, Toge, Hoonan. Oh, I still have my drift zone too. Some ghosted traffic. This car is an absolute blast. Take a little bit of figuring out, I think, but... Tons of potential. Oh my god! This thing's awesome! That's absolutely insane! That is absolutely insane! That is what I wished my 240 would do up here. I could still stick some tire on this too. This car is an absolute dream. I'm blown away at how good this thing is. You guys are gonna drive my two now. You're gonna be like, this thing sucks. Not to me. This thing fits my driving style perfect. Oh! I just wish, honestly, I might throw the brakes a little bit more towards the back might help bring that rotation around a little more too because it's understeering mostly under brakes. Look at that, lock to lock. Like it's nothing. Like I'm driving to Walmart, man. Oh, I didn't think that was going to work. Oh, I got distracted. This toge inspires some of that understeer, too. That's like the one Achilles heel of this car, is that understeer, which I think I'll be able to dial out of pretty easily. Or just learn to drive better, because honestly, like a handbrake would solve that issue. I just can't believe the angle this thing holds. It's insanity. You have arrived at your destination. So fun. Okay, so that's that's where it stops. I can't believe 
believe how well this thing holds angle, though. It's insane. It's crazy, because this is the exact opposite of my experience building this as a race car. Like, I really struggled. Um, maybe I didn't give it my best effort either, but this drift car pretty much built itself. This thing's sick! Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, what an awesome time. Uh, what an awesome car. Super happy with how this car turned out. I cannot wait to get tandeming with Justin in this. Uh, I tried for this video, but unfortunately, uh, Xbox is down at the moment, so I've been sliding on my own. But, um, yeah, anyway. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching the video today. And uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of the Supra in the future. Do some tandem video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Um, and links to my socials are in the description down below. So if you guys are interested, uh, follow down there. I will talk to you soon. Later.